One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Our economies, our livelihoods, and our food all depend on our oceans. The Great Barrier Reef is dying. They are literally destroying the lit reef wholesale. Systematically devastated our global fisheries through destructive practices. Government scientists sounded the alarm about coral. And the oceans are in trouble. Leading us to unprecedented damage to the oceans and the animals living in them. NOAA believes 5% of the world's coral could be lost this year. As much as 8 million tons of plastic waste enters the oceans every year. We confront an urgent choice. We are tied to the ocean. And when we go back to the sea, we are going back from whence we came. Here's the challenge. The deep ocean is the most critical part of our planet, yet it's the least known. We have better maps of the moon and Mars than we do of our own seabed. So how can we sustainably manage and protect the ocean unless we know its function, its health and its value to us? The big problem we have with understanding the deep ocean is we simply don't understand the distribution of life within it. The fastest way to change that situation is to develop a series of global ocean expeditions from 200 metres down to 2,000 metres, which we call the Bathiel Zone. The Bathiel Zone is home to the greatest diversity of species anywhere in the ocean and contains all the critical indicators of ocean health. It performs an essential role for the planet in absorbing carbon dioxide and regulating climate. But with its wealth of oil, gas and fish, it's the region most vulnerable to human exploitation. It's clear we need a major step change in our understanding of the deep ocean. Necton is driving that change by launching a global mission to explore the Bathiel Zone across the world's ocean. <laughs> The transparent pressure holes in our submersibles enable us to witness people in the deep. And it's that single thing that creates the vital human link that we need to reconnect us with the ocean. Words can't describe, just incredible. Never mind the experience, but to see that stuff. I understand why people are excited about space, but really, this is here. I'm really sold on the value of these manned submersibles because you hear it often that, oh, we don't need men down there, we just need to put machines. And uh, I think that's really off the mark. You just never can replace the human experience about being in one of these submersibles. It's classic exploration, it's a marriage between um, proper science, exploration and, ad and adventure together. So you, you, you're sort of hitting all, all the key buttons and inspiring. Our missions generate global coverage and ignite public interest and help get the oceans on the agenda in the newsrooms, the boardrooms, the classrooms and in the corridors of power. And that gives our politicians the public mandate that they need to act. I feel like I've been to the moon. I mean, this is just a totally, it's just another world. The high seas, it's like the last frontier, right? It's like the wild, wild west. 
everybody can go there. Nothing is really very much protected today. Half of our Earth is beyond national jurisdiction. So what the Necton Foundation has allowed us to do today is to bring the science and match it with policy making. I think this is, this is a phenomenal partnership because we're exactly at that cross between science and exploration and turning that into decision making. And at the end of the day, that's why we are all here. We know so little about the ocean and especially the deep seas that we have to generate more knowledge and to bring this at the policy level uh, to make the good decision. What Necton is doing is perfectly in phase with, with, with what IUCN is trying to promote. Necton's mission is incredibly ambitious. It needs to be. We need a new golden era of exploration that can push back the frontiers of our knowledge and inform and catalyze the legal, political and economic decisions that will secure our future. Thank you.